Welcome back. Um, we got the matches. Time to go see Agatha and light them and find out why she said, oh god. I'm a little less frightened now and I'm more intrigued than anything, so I really want to find out what's going on. One. Almost there, Lucas. Two. You know you could light all three candles with one match. Sulfur poisoning the woman. It's not cool. Three. blind and everything, but you could have at least closed the curtains while I was gone, turned off the light because you can't see anyway. Why was it on in the first place? So many unanswered questions. So much confusion. Shut up, Alec. Close the windows. <laughs> ah, turn around, you jerk. There we go. Whoosh. God, that, look at that picture! That is a creepy picture. That is a really creepy picture. I mean, I understand that you're blind and you can't see it, but that's a creepy picture to have in your house. Okay, let's sit down. I'll quit bitching. The only way to understand what has happened to you is to try to go deep into your unconscious memory. Whoever it was that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. There still must be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. Do you, or do you not wish to try it? Yes, I do. Let's do Give it. Give me your hand. Now, close your eyes. These go fairly slow so you can get through the entire thing. They want you to focus on the story more than the game right here. I don't know why they didn't just give you the story, I mean it would have been nicer just to watch this, but they want you to interact with it, so they added this in. Alright, we're in the diner. Oh my god, I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. 
Calm yourself, Lucas. Keep your concentration. This is that deja vu thing they talk about a lot. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to, but I can't stop myself. I want you to re-enter your spirit. But now, it is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Before. Okay. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. Are you sitting at your table? Yes, I am. I can see myself. What are you doing, Lucas? I'm eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. Shakespeare. The Tempest. What else do you see? As I told thee before, I am oh. subject to a tyrant. A sorcerer. By his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it not? Yes. You guys hear this guy's voice? Someone's coming toward me. A man. Who is it? A customer? I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need to remember. It's one of my favorite books. A shame. So He's in a hood. Shakespeare these days. Would you mind if I sat down for a moment? Ah, it's just that... The man sat down at my table and... Now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee. It's as if she didn't see the man, like he was invisible. So much has been written about the Tempest, especially concerning the theme of magic. And now, what's happening, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? This no, guy's voice. I don't. Listen, Creepy as um, hell. You're wrong. You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. The waitress has brought him his coffee, but she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. And now, what's happening? Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. How did I it's fail? It's essential that you keep your concentration, Lucas. You must empty your mind of all thoughts. Let's uh, Hold on a second. I'm going to pause it here and then pick up in the next one.